we, um, gosh, 20 years, uh, we made up a record called um, Jars of Clay 20 this past year. Woo! Yeah, thanks. Woo! Um, we had a bunch of folks uh, vote on what songs from our past records, uh, two songs from each record that we would re-record. And um, it, was, it was a really interesting process to, to get to the, the songs we were going to record. Um, a lot of people suggesting um, various songs and, and us having to remember that, oh, what? yeah, I guess that. A lot of memory jogging. Yeah, a lot yeah. of memory jogging. Remember <laughs> certain songs. Um, some, were some, some didn't even feel like ours. No. no. <laughs> they were, and, yeah. and sure enough, a portion of sugar on me. True. That was, was not one of our songs. <laughs> but, uh, you know. Yeah, we learned it though and, and attempted it yeah. and figured it out. It's, you know, incidentally, it's not even really about sugar. No. <laughs> I find out. It's doubly disappointing. Th this, one was a, this one was a good surprise though. I, I, I liked. Um, yeah. I liked uh, the pr the process snuck up on us because um, you know you have these um, uh, moments you know that you you know like birthdays sort of um, where you kind of name what's happening and how long something's been going on or how long you've been alive or you know that sort of thing. Um, uh, when we give people the opportunity to talk about the songs and, and vote on them, uh, it really kind of doubled back around to to be a, a wonderful kind of hug from mom. Because uh, uh, we got to hear, uh, you know, truly part of the exchange, and Dan will talk about this later, but part of the exchange is just that, I mean, if it was just us kind of talking about stuff in music um, and not having meaningful interaction, we probably wouldn't be doing it at this point. Um, it's true. But part of the stories have, have been what have uh, sustained us and got us interested in continuing to tell ours because people seem to get pieces of it and then they make it their own. And um, this was, this song was certainly one of those that. Um, yeah, the original original uh, title of this song I think was actually called "Hugs from Mom." Hugs from Mom. <laughs> Hugs from Mom. Yeah. Right, 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 Dad. You know, it's just one of those like, right, Mom, right, Dad. Yeah. Now this one actually does have sort of we we meant to record this one on a, for our second record. We did record it. It was supposed to come out on our second album, and uh, it was um, we recorded it with like a forty piece orchestra. In fact. That's what you do on your second record, because you, you're scared to death that people aren't going to like it as much. So you just fill it with all sorts of really expensive things, um, yeah, and an AOL subscription. Yeah, we sit there again. Story, people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a. You have one of the original CDs. Yeah, you can sign up for AOL. Yeah. <laughs> Three hundred free hours. Three right. hours. <laughs> It's such a bargain these we were, days. We were so it? far ahead of the game back then. Please, yeah. one more. Just one more. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's the sound of the internet in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sound of actually, uh, I think, uh, Al Gore thinking about the internet. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, so we tried to record it and, and had this great version, and then they, uh, someone from the label said, you know, um, it sounds uh, just like this Hoover vacuum commercial theme song. So we yeah. could put it on the record, which, yeah. you know, sucked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you guys paid good money for that one right there. <laughs> So we ended up uh, re-recording it, and it, uh, we took away all the strings, because that's what you do on your third record. And uh, <laughs> this song made it on our third record. This is called No One Loves Me Like You.
Loves me like, loves me like, loves me 